Welcome to Cycling CN's coverage of the 8th Tour of Hainan in the 2013 edition. We're looking at some of the major teams right now. We're going to be talking with the Belkin team, with Theo Boss. I don't think it's so, uh, uh, so obvious and so uh, easy, but uh, I think, yeah, we have a nice team here with uh, also some other fast guys, like uh, Lars Boom is fast, uh, Moreno Hofland, a young guy, is also really fast, and uh, yeah, we might uh, go for them also this, this week. And, uh, but today uh, we try to win uh, the sprint here, and uh, normally it's going to be a sprint. Lots of action here in Chiang Mai. We've got dancing girls and we've got some animated riders all getting ready to head out into the north wind of stage number one. We had 83.9 kilometers. We headed north from Chiang Mai, as I had said, into that wind coming off of the South China Sea. We looped around, we had two sprints, and came flying right back with a big tailwind into Chiang Mai again for the finish. Everybody's quite relaxed with good weather, slight haze, and as the gun went off, the Hainan team went out right ahead. Everybody else was following on dutifully behind in sort of a neutral zone as the race progressed. Down they went, turning around, parading through the town of Chiang Mai, showing everybody their true colors. We had 20 teams and 134 riders all bunched together. And as they passed once again through Chiang Mai from the neutral zone, things started to warm up. With 15 kilometers into the race, a break of 15 riders ended up exploding off the front. They were charging fast and furious into the headwind, and in that we had Belkin, we had Draypack, we had seven teams up there working their hardest, making that break stick. Three Belkin riders were basically controlling everything, and by that, I mean taking care of the sprints. One, two, three. You're gonna see them coming up onto sprint number one right here, and they're working together, controlling every single pedal stroke. Here you can see with 150 meters to go, Belkin blasting off the front. First place going to Moreno Hofland, second going to Thomas Laser, and third from Belkin was Jos van Emde. Brakes still continue to go off, everybody challenging the dominance of Belkin. They were the pro team to be watching, and on paper at least, they were definitely going to be the strongest. Again, as everybody's riding along, nobody's really challenging them. We've got the Ukrainian national team here at the front, also extremely strong, but with only one rider in the brake, they didn't have too much hope. The peloton, as you can see, didn't really get things together, try as they might, and that break went out not extremely far. They only had a two minute lead with roughly 20k to go. Here's the second sprint and it's basically a repeat of the first with once again Hoflin taking first, but then Van Emden and Laser changing positions from second and third to third to second. Here's the peloton rolling along, just stretching out those old quads. As Belkin continued to lead, we had one breakaway, Frederick Amorizon from Crelan Yofoni. He went off the front with six kilometers to go. And with that, he ended up getting enough of a gap that it challenged Belkin. And immediately, Moreno Hofland ended up bridging up to him. Hofland being the dominant rider, a 21-year-old neo-pro, he ended up putting the 35-year-old Amorizon in his place. Here we go with 300 meters and away, away goes Hofland. 200 meters and he's still stretching his lead up that uphill. Look at the joy as he crosses the line, taking the win, six seconds over his breakaway companion. The peloton galloped across the line 45 seconds later and look at all these happy Belkins. Yeah, in the beginning there was a lot of attacks and uh, at a certain moment we were in the front with three guys of our team with Tom and Jos and me, and then we decided to get all the seconds at the bonus sprints, mm -hmm. and we uh, yeah we rode full, and at 6k to go, the guy from Lambaukadit attacked, and I was in his wheel, so I slipped with him away, uh -huh. and then I looked back and we were gone, so then we started riding full. Super. And at the last k, I gambled a little bit, I stayed in his wheel, then uh, yeah, two hours to go, I start sprinting and uh, I won. Our stager winner today was Moreno Hofland, once again 21-year-old Neo Pro, first year with Belkin. That's not him. 
There he is, flanked by a teammate, Thomas Laser taking third, second place, Frederic Amazon. With the stage win and the two sprint wins, Hoffland also took the green jersey for best sprinter. More flowers, more mascots, and here he is, wearing the yellow jersey of the leader of the Tour of Hainan. And now, going to our stage again, Moreno Hoffland first, Frederic Amazon second, Thomas Leeser from Belkin third. The stage winners also translate into the GC leaders right now with Hofland, Amazon, and Laser for second and third. For Cycling CN, I'm Sean Nagel, and we're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow with Stage 2's 174 kilometers of speed. Wow.